so <clears throat> made it home. And the puppy was glad I was back. Look at Gerald. And now she's a good puppy. Um, so a little bit stressing about the um, about the clinic always bullshitting and and just uh. They already tell me that I had to come back every week when I moved to San Bruno in order to um, pick up my medication and whatnot, which they're already a late uh, by like a week um, because one of their employees uh, had taken time off or something, so I had to change. I had to get pushed forward a week or whatever. But anyway, so I'm getting ready to go play accordion in like the subway that they have here. They call it the BART station. Um, and I'll probably record some of that. There's a good Wi-Fi there, and I can upload a lot of things while I'm there. So, I got a couple videos that I'm going to upload, and, uh, part one of Berkeley's story, my dog, and how having a dog affected my life and changed me. Um, which, Berkeley was with me, she would have been 13 had she made it to her next birthday, which was like a couple months away from when she passed away. She passed away on Halloween night um, a little over a year ago. Uh, so, um, my first, you know, real episode of my story, I'm going to touch on that because it's important to know about her um, and, like, the impact that she had on my life. So, it's just kind of a quick story about her and how I ended up here and how she ties into that because she does and it's a pretty crazy story. So, um, I have quite a bit of her story done, and I have to work on part two, which I'll probably work on tonight. Um, but I'm going to also try to record some some of me playing accordion tonight, and maybe tell a little bit of stories while I'm playing the accordion. We'll see, or it just maybe some of me playing accordion, but I already have a lot of a lot of videos of me playing accordion that I could post. Um, I just uh, got to get to somewhere where I can upload them all and put them in a folder. Um, so I'm going to work on organizing a lot of that stuff tonight, and then maybe the next time I go play accordion, I'll upload a lot more um, videos all at once. So just bear with me because I got tons of stuff to go through. I'm trying to separate it by folder and whatnot, but um, I'll work on it, and then I'll also make updates about what I'm going through and like how my reintegration into society, how it's, I mean, it is tough because I've lived so much apart from society for so long, trying to get back into it, it's pretty crazy, and even me, I mean, it's almost been a year since I've been here and had this apartment, that's something of a... <laughs> rarity for me um, because I've never really done it before. I've had places when I was younger before I started traveling and whatnot, but just on a lease, you know, for a whole year and I lived there, it's pretty, it's, it was rare, it's unheard of for me. <laughs> um, well, like I said, I did have a place in Louisiana a few years back for eight months, but after the job was done, I left. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head to play accordion because not only is it peaceful and it's something I enjoy, it just kind of takes me away from everything. I get to meet people and talk to people and that's a cool aspect and I make money as well um, while I do it. Um, so, because I play for donations. Um, so, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on that. And, um... Seems like I was forgetting something else that I want to tell you guys. Um, it's I'm going to try to talk about in the present time what I'm doing now and everything. Um, the difficulties and whatnot and how weird it is to try to reintegrate yourself back into society. And I'm not trying to do this forever. It's mostly for health issues and stability issues right now. And so I can focus on preparing for what I want to do next in life. And I'll talk about that in one of my videos as well. Um, just give me a little bit of time and I'll get things uploaded. But um, yeah, there you go.